There is something about coffee that captures the senses and the imagination. Great coffee brings people together. Hosano Coffee in Ferndale, Michigan is a coffee shop built on passion. Frank Lanscron Tamarazzo's passion. It started when, um, when a friend uh, came up to me um, after high holiday services um, when I was in, in Wilmette, when I was a cantor in Wilmette, Illinois, and um, I was really drenched with sweat and I was um, tired, it was a long service, and he said, Frank, I have a birthday present for you. Um, I just want to tell you that I, I think you have a beautiful voice and you're a great cantor, kids love you, adults love you, all this stuff, you're really laying it on, and he said, but I can't imagine you as an old cantor. Just up, it's not your temperament. Uh, but I can't imagine as an old coffee roaster. Chazano comes from um, uh, Chazan, which is Cantor in Hebrew, and the O because my mother was Jewish, my father was Italian. I really want throughout Michigan for um, for people to uh, to all know Chazano coffee and the best places where the food is fantastic for. Um, uh, for them to have Hosano coffee and have a great cup of coffee uh, in their hands at the uh, but the big thing is that uh, that I love about what I'm doing is that we don't just provide the coffee for all the um, all of our wholesale customers we also teach them how to brew it um, there's no place that serves Hosano coffee um, <clears throat> that I don't know how it tastes the business is not just about uh, making a great cup of coffee. That's really important and I really want to grow the business so that I can go out to the best restaurants in Michigan at least and uh, get a fantastic cup of coffee when I leave. Um, I want to, with that dessert, after that, that fine uh, flight of, uh, of wines from the Adriatic coast, uh, with that fantastic salad that if I died after eating a little piece of that salad, I'd be okay. Um, I want to have a fantastic cup of coffee. I created this cafe uh, in this uh, with this decor because I wanted it to, it's an upscale, but it's also light industrial. I wanted uh, whether you're a chef, an owner of a business, uh, or uh, anyone else, you'd feel comfortable here uh, doing business. And I, it's like a cheers without uh, without alcohol. Uh, we know everybody's names, um, and we, we try to do everything possible to get them closed business. This is the heart of the business. I, I call this my fourth child. I have three uh, uh, other children. This is my fourth child. Um, this is, uh, I was always looking for everything that was uh, American made. And this is one uh, American made that I'm very proud of. Made in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Fantastic machine. And I wanted to make sure it was a small roaster. You can get humongous roasters. This roast 12 pounds max at any time because I wanted it to be an artisan roast. People traditionally have uh, accepted uh, coffee that's not fresh. Um, I give away my coffee to homeless shelters and low-income housing after two and a half weeks uh, if the coffee has not been sold. After a week and a half I, um, I, I sell it for discount. So uh, trying to get that model uh, completely changed in the paradigm of coffee roasting companies, that's a, uh, that's a hurdle, but it's a hurdle that can be um, uh, reached. It's not, a, um, it's not impossible, not an impossible dream. The big part of it is I, I really want to grow local business and grow Michigan business and, uh, and make sure that as I'm doing better and better, that everyone else is doing better and better. Hosano Coffee is beautifully simple. No flavor shots, nothing that would mask the bold, rich flavors of organic coffee. Beans from every corner of the globe are roasted, ground, brewed, and served to waiting customers. Here, coffee is art.